Hey, it's iReviewer1486, and I'm doing a review of the of the Sony MDR ZX300 outdoor headphones. So yeah, let's get started. Um, starting with build quality, because I think that's something that everyone cares about. Um. It's actually relatively, I'm just kind of surprised here, but if you look, um, you are actually able to bend this easily at like 180 degrees, even with this thin piece of plastic, and can even bend it in more. So yeah, obviously, these are pretty durable. Actually, and these are the red version. Um, which is kind of nice because there's like a shiny little disc looking thing here and it says Sony right there. They fully fold flat like that so you can set them on a surface. Um, the drivers are 30 millimeters. I forgot the exact frequency range. I think it's, I don't know, I'm not even going to say because I probably get it wrong, but the red side is actually marked, I mean the right side is actually marked by a red thing. <laughs> Sorry there. But, um, yeah. These can extend pretty far, and when extending, they are still very durable. Like, I'm not afraid to break these or anything. So, yeah, they're pretty good there. It is, there is no auxiliary cable, it's just two cables that run into there. So, I mean, if they break, then you're screwed, you have to turn them in, but I think there's a lifetime warranty, actually. So yeah, so that was build quality. Next let's talk about the cord. At the end of the cord um, is this L-shaped jack. These green little nudges obviously, they, and then the, it's gold plated so it sounds good. The cord itself actually feels pretty good, it feels like some sort of rubbery thing. Um, what's weird is when it comes from the headphones it's like this thing and then it conjoins into one and there's still that like split thing there so that's kind of a nice design the cord feels good it's tingle free um so yeah so now that we have talked about the cord might as well talk about well since there's not much to talk about with these headphones um i would say the sound right now portability because obviously this is going to be good they are very portable. They are meant to be used outdoors, pretty much, because that's why they're so portable. So yeah, these are outdoor headphones. Very portable. You can just put them like this and slip them into, like, a bag. Very portable. There is no case, though, so, yeah. But they're not easy to break. I mean, you can just throw these around. Um, next, let's talk about sound. The sound quality in this is actually pretty good. It's definitely comparable to all other headphones in its price range. Like the Cost UR29 that I did a review on, these dominate over those incredibly. These are $30 um, or $35, I think. And yeah, they're pretty good. And sound quality, they, um, the bass is actually okay. I mean, they have a flat EQ, so, um, you're gonna have to set a bass booster, or you have, you're gonna have to set some sort of EQ because it's really flat. But when you set the EQ, it, the bass is actually pretty good. Um, the sound quality overall is pretty good. The highs are okay, the mids are good. Um, everything's pretty good. For the price, I think they are worth it. Um, they are definitely aren't really as ugly as most other <laughs> um, headphones like this. They actually have a better design and everything. So, yeah. So, overall, I do recommend these. The build quality, okay. Sound quality, I mean, the build quality is excellent. Sound quality, that's okay. Um, good. It's definitely an upgrade from any earbuds, pretty much. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you want to learn more about these, go to... Sony's website, I guess, because I don't know if there's something I didn't talk about here. The ear cushion, oh, comfort, um, comfort, I would say, is pretty good as well. There is no headband, there's no headpiece up there, but since they're so lightweight, you don't, it doesn't really matter. 
The ear cushions are pretty good. They're on ear, so they're not as comfortable as most, but they're light, so it's fine. The material's good, too. So, yeah. I'd say if you want a good pair of headphones, and these are, then these are pretty good, so, yeah. If you want more bass, you should probably go for the Sony XB series, though, so, yeah. Anyway, um, see you in the next video.